what's good y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl starting like sis and i'm back again with another entrepreneur video so today this video is for my business owners um i have two separate videos i'm going to do i'm going to show you guys basically not show you guys but kind of like tell you guys the basics of getting your sales tax and everything together um if you are using shopify as your um what web website platform um and then i'm going to tell you guys basically what my experience has been with um dealing with sales tax and just my horror story so um i wanted to do this number one because when i first started using shopify i told you guys um i didn't quite understand the taxes that was one of the things that i didn't understand at all um so that and then also i have figured it out um and basically just figured out how to use the whole system and everything so this may be a different process for you depending on where you live but for texas i'm going to tell you guys um what i specifically know so um we're just gonna get right into it i guess maybe i'll screen record on my computer while i'm doing this but yeah we're just gonna hop right into it i'm not sure if this is like in every state but in texas we have a texas comptroller um they basically handle everything with the llc's so basically the comptroller it's not a person it's kind of like a i don't know how to explain it um it's basically like the tax collector bookkeeper type of business for texas like i said i don't know if everybody's um state has this but if you're curious um you can um basically just google your state and then type in say you live in alabama alabama comptroller or even if you do alabama sales tax permit and it'll tell you basically give you all the steps on how to sign up so for texas specifically it is comptroller.texas.gov um so i'm going to pull that up so that you guys can see it um i have my laptop right here so basically in order to file your sales tax you have to have a sales tax permit in the state of texas so the first thing you're gonna have to do is apply for your sales tax permit um once you're accepted and all that stuff you're gonna be responsible for filing um for your business basically um at the end of every quarter so there are four quarters that you're going to make um want to make sure that you're um filing for it is january february march you have to file by april 15th um and then the next one is going to be due june 15th i believe and you're going to do for the months before that um then it's september 15th the months before that um and then it's going to be the next uh date is going to be january 15th um going into the next year so. you're going to go to your comptroller website and i'm a little sick so bear with me that's why it's taking me so long to get this video done because i was trying to wait till i at least sounded a little bit decent um so i do want to let y'all know right now that shopify does not file your taxes for you it collects them when people buy from your store but it does not like i said file them for you or pay them for you so even if you have your sales tax on being collected, it's just data being collected. Shopify collects the data so you know how much you're gonna have to pay or how much you're gonna input when you are um, doing your report, when you're reporting your sales tax, but that's literally all that they do. So um, I am at the homepage of my comptroller website. Um, so at the top, um it just says different things tax transparent transparency economy all that i'm gonna go to taxes and you guys see it says sales tax so i clicked on sales tax um and these websites are pretty informative so if you just go on there it kind of gives you a step by step what you should do um so i'm gonna scroll right down and you guys see that it says apply for a sales tax permit um and it takes um up to two to three weeks to receive your permit um and then you just apply for the permit um like i said i don't know if this applies for everybody but um there's a e-system or web file um website that the comptroller basically uses to have all reports and everything done so once you get your sales tax tax permit you're going to assign taxes to yourself so as you guys can see um mine is already down here but um assign taxes you put your taxpayer number um it'll pop up you basically assign yourself the sales tax or the franchise tax the franchise tax is for your llc um but the sales tax is for your sales tax basically when that quarter comes up you're going to log into your account 
um, and you're going to click file and pay. Um, and it's going to say, you're usually going to click file original return. Um, of course, mine is going to say there's no um, returns available right now. But the return that the return period that you're currently in is going to pop up. You're going to click it. I'm just going to give you guys an example of what it looks like. Um, once you click it, it's going to ask you, are you taking credit to reduce taxes on this return? Um, I usually just put no. Um, and then I did not refund any sales tax for this filing period, so I clicked no again. Um, and then here is going to ask you, what is your total sales tax um, basically in your state? So for Texas, um, you're just going to put the whole dollar amount. Um, and once you put that in, it's going to calculate how much in sales tax you're going to need to pay. So this is where Shopify comes in. So for Shopify, you're going to want to go into your account. So once you get into your store, you're going to go to your analytics. Um, Shopify does allow you to basically click um, for the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, or third quarter or fourth quarter. Okay, so you're going to go to the finances section. You're going to go to total sales. Um, and then you're going to go on the top right hand corner and you're going to click which quarter um, you are looking for. Now, um, you can download this report, but you're going to have to go through this report um, and basically um, calculate how many um, total sales you had in your state. So for me, um, I would basically calculate um, all the way down. <clears throat> all the way down for that quarter um, how many sales were made in Texas and then I would submit that whole number um, into the Texas total sales once you do that you're going to click continue if you do not have any sales in that quarter of course you're gonna click no sales um, and then you're gonna scroll down your reports gonna come up it's gonna tell you how much you owe um, and then you're just basically going to file that so you're gonna need to do this um, four times for each quarter out of the year. That's basically um, that's basically the gist of it. Now for the quarters, just to give the correct dates again, um, you're gonna your first your first quarter is due April, um, and it's for January through March. Um, your next quarter is due in July, um, and that is from April to June. You're gonna report in July. In October, you're going to report for July through September, um, and then in January of the next year, you're going to report for October to December for the year that just had passed. So yeah, that's pretty much how you're going to set up your sales tax permit and how you're going to file your sales tax um, if you are using Shopify as your um, website provider. Um, I will definitely go more in depth about my horror story with the sales taxes, but this is pretty much like a little mini walkthrough for the people who don't necessarily know how to set it up um, for their LLC, but you do want to make sure that you're filing them on time because they will charge you a $50 late fee, $52 late fee um, if you do not file them on time. Um, even if you have to pay zero dollars for the taxes, you're still going to have to pay that $52 in order to be current um with your state so make sure that you are doing that and if you don't and you're not filing them on time trust and believe me they will come for their money make sure you are ready to begin paying the moment you apply for your sales tax permit so um if you guys have any more questions about sales tax feel free to comment them down below maybe i'll make another video on the topic but the next one's probably going to be like a story time of how i wish they kind of like tell you this stuff before you actually start a business, but they don't. That's a whole nother story. But um, I hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I helped somebody um, better understand how that process pretty much goes. Um, but I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.